Good morning, my wonderful listeners, and good day. I bring to you today again another news. The news outline. Opinion. Stop agitation for separation. Yorubas will suffer most if Nigeria finally breaks. The news in full. The agitation for separation has become rampant in the recent time in, in recent time in Nigeria. The ones agitating in Southwest seem to have been led by Sunday Ibohu, where they are asking, they are calling for the Yoruba nation and ask the full and investment to vacate their land. But if, we, but we fail to know that we are better and stronger together, the population Nigeria has is an is an added advantage to us if used properly will be used for our own good. In this article, we want to outline some reason why the why the Yorubas may suffer most if Nigeria breaks. Here are some reasons why I feel my, feel in my own opinion I feel so. Firstly, they do not have large deposits of oil and gas. Remember this is the major driver of Nigerian economy. Without the Yoruba receiving the oil money, most of the system will collapse. Secondly, the commerce and industries in Yoruba land are owned by some Igbo businessmen. When the country breaks, they may go with them. Thirdly, the Yoruba nation have so many higher institutions that are financed by the central government and if the country breaks, they may no longer get funding and may be forced to shut down. Fourthly, the food is also a major challenge. The Yoruba do not practice commercial agriculture as 70% of food consumed in Southwest come from the northern parts of Nigeria, including meat, yam, maize, and many other farm produces. The agitation of separation has become rampant. In Nigeria, the ones agitating on Southwest seem to have been led by Sunday Igbo, where they are calling for the urban nation, asking the Fulani Etsmen to vacate their land. But we fail to know that we are better and stronger together. The population Nigeria has is an added advantage if we used properly. We want to outline why the Yorubas may suffer most if Nigeria breaks today. Firstly, they do not have large oil and gas deposits. This, this is the major driver of Nigeria's economy. Without the Yoruba receiving the oil money, most of their systems will collapse. The commerce and industries in the Yorubas are mostly owned by Igbo lands. Yoruba nation have so many institutions financed by the central government. If the country breaks, they may no longer get funding and may be forced to shut down. The news this morning says the agitation for from for the separation is becoming rampant nowadays in Nigeria. He said the ones agitating in the southwest seem to have been led by Mr. Sunday Ubo, who is currently in custody, where they are calling for Yoruba nation and asking the Fulani headsmen to vacate their land. Also made it known that we have failed to know that we are better and stronger together, that the population of Nigeria is an added advantage to us and if we are able to use them properly we will be for our own good if we try to unite ourselves and become one he also said in the article in this article that they want to outline some reason why the yoruba may suffer the most if nigerian breaks today here are some reasons that if the writer feels in his own opinion firstly they said the Yorubas do not have large oil and gas deposits. He said we should remember that this is the major driver of Nigeria's economy, and without the Yoruba receiving the oil money, most of their systems may collapse. Secondly, he said the commerce and industries in the Yoruba lands and the business owners are, are owned by some evil businessmen. He also made it known to us that most of the companies, most of the jobs that are in the Yoruba lands are mostly owned by Igbo businessmen. And when the country breaks, they may have to go with them. So thirdly, Yoruba nation have so many higher institutions that are 
financed by the central government and if the country breaks they may no longer get funding and may be forced to shut down he said the higher institution that are financed by the central government in the yoruba nation are really much and they may no longer get funding if the country breaks and may be forced to shut down he also said the food are also a major challenge that the yoruba do not practice agricultural commercial agriculture he said 70 percent of the food consumed in southwest from the northern part uh, from the northern part of nigeria he said most of the yoruba only they don't practice commercial agriculture and that's 70 percent of the food in nigeria comes from the southwest which include meat yam meat cassava and many other produces so for this for this reason he has advised and given his own opinion to stop the agitation for separation that the yoruba will be the most to suffer if nigeria, nigeria breaks he said the agitation for separation has become so rampant in the recent time in nigeria the ones agitating in the southwest was led by sundi Igbo, where they are calling for yoruba nations to action the fulani men to vacate their land he said that we are failed to understand that our population is to our own advantage and if we use it properly it will be for our own good he said he wants to he also, he also wanted to outline some reason why the yorubas may suffer the most if nigeria breaks today and he's given some reason why he feels in his own opinion it will be so and he has also said that the population of Nigeria is a very good advantage for us and if properly used or properly um, managed, it will be for our own good and advantage. The first reason he gave was that Yorubas do not have large oil and gas deposits and we should remember this is the major driver of Nigerian economy. Without the Yoruba receiving the oil money, most of their system is likely to collapse. He also said the commerce and industries industries in the Yoruba land are owned by some evil business, businessmen that the job opportunity most of the job opportunity and industries in the Yoruba lands are owned by mostly Igbo men and if the country decides to break they may have to go with them. He also said the Yoruba nation have so many higher institutions that are financed by the central government and if the country decides to break they may no longer get funding and may be forced to shut down he also said the food is also a major challenge that the yoruba do not practice commercial agriculture as at 70 percent of the food consumed in nigeria in the southwest of nigeria comes from the northern part of nigeria including meat yam maize and other produces <laughs>